Hi friends, welcome back. It's me, Christina Alabato. In my bedroom. <gasps> it's actually me and Bob's, that's rude, we share it. Behind you are a bunch of Broadway posters, South Pacific, American Psycho, Lazarus, ooh, where's my hair? American Idiot, Tuck, Everlasting, Spring Awakening. Some of our favorites. Um, and I'm here because one of the big requested videos was for me to do my makeup and get ready for you. Disclaimer, I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea how to do my makeup correctly. I just do whatever I think looks best. I don't understand what certain products do. I also just um, kind of make it up as I go. So anyone looking for like an actual makeup tutorial where I tell you all the stuff that you should be doing, um, just know that that's definitely not gonna happen here. So honestly, comment and tell me what to do better because um, I don't know what I'm doing. So I washed my hair. Well, actually it lies, I did not wash my hair, but I have not done my hair today. I'm gonna throw my hair up to get it out of my way because it's so freaking long. Uh, favorite shirt, favorite shirt alert. Well, first let me do shirt alert. <laughs> favorite shirt alert. So I'm gonna do a nice messy bun to get out of my way, show you my shirt. Are you kidding me right meow? Get it? <laughs> it's my fave. Here we are, I have washed my face. That was the first thing that I did. Second thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wear some eye patches for you by Patchology. This has been my new favorite thing and it totally is helpful when I'm raring uh, to do a video and um, not have super baggy bags. They're sparkly. I don't know if you can tell that they're sparkly, but look, they're so sparkly. Also, I need to do my nails. So I'm gonna start with that. Just gonna throw them on. Are these even on the right way? Should I be doing it the other way? If anybody knows the answer to that, let me know. Wait, should it be this way? I'm confused. You know what? I'm just gonna wear one one way and one the other way because I can do whatever I want. Wait, that looks dumb. Switching it. But these are really nice because um, my Mexican Lebanese heritage really gave me some nice bags to live with. So these are really helpful in the bag arena. My tata on my dad's side, so my Mexican um, tata uh, grandfather. Oh my god, why won't this go? There we go. Um, he is Yaqui, like that's a tribe in Mexico, and uh, he had like the deepest, deep set bags. So whenever I look at my bags, I think about my Yaqui ancestors. Anyway, so I'm gonna let these sit here for like, let's see, what does this say? Five minutes. So let's wait for five minutes. <laughs> Okay. Maybe five minutes are up, maybe they're not, but it's okay. Why is this going in my eye? My eyeball. Oh. Patches. Removed. I'm gonna rub in that gel all over my eyeballs. So when I do my makeup and I get ready for, you know, on-camera auditions or theater auditions or going to the theater and putting on my Gretchen makeup and also making these videos for you guys, I start with my fave. This is um, Drunk Elephant C Firma Day Serum. Um, this has become one of my favorite products because vitamin C on your face, what could be better? Again, I'm not a, 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 an expert, but honestly, my friend Gianni and Ellie, who's probably gonna watch this and be like, bitch, you have no idea what you're doing with your face. Love you. Gianna's in Mean Girls with me, and she is also a professional makeup artist and tells us everything we need to know. And she says that this is good stuff. So I'm rubbing this vitamin C all over my face. And then I always do a moisturizer. I've used this moisturizer forever, Estee Lauder Daywear, and it has SPF in it, which I think is super important. Correct me if I'm wrong, beauty people, but I'm pretty sure that's what you should be doing. All over to soak up, and I soak it in, put it on my neck too. Um, yeah, now I'm red because I've been touching my face, but it's fine. Next up, I put a concealer on, Bye Bye Under Eye, uh, which works pretty nice. So I'm gonna do that first. Um, can you guys see okay? I'm actually gonna move closer to my mirror. Um, so yeah, I just kind of dabble that under to correct my bags. Uh, wait, I forgot something. Okay, I'm gonna leave that one eyed conceal that one eyed concealer, and I'm gonna do the thing that I know that I should be doing first, which is my favorite thing, using this BB cream by Trini London. I don't actually understand what this stuff is, but it's awesome. It goes in like this, and then I go like this, and it's like, maybe this is a moisturizer too. Guys, I don't know. I'm just doing what I do every day, and if it's wrong, my face looks good, so I don't really care. Back to concealer. Um, oh my God, Gianna, you're gonna be like, what are you doing? I miss her a lot, because she was on medical leave. 
but now we're all on leave so and then depending on feeling so I use like a bunch of different foundations right now because I'm gonna do like on camera stuff I'll probably use like this is what I use for Gretchen too this Mac Studio Fix um I don't like apply too much of it because I don't like to wear a lot of makeup usually but when I'm on camera I try to like do what I need to do you know I find that like if I'm doing TV and stuff, I like to, if I'm on camera, I'll like, actually, one day I'll do like a normal video where it's like, get ready with me for my day, which is not this kind of makeup. This is like, get ready because I need to do some shit. So this is a beauty blobber. What is this called? A beauty, again, no idea. And it's dirty. So I need to wash it. It's funny. I, you guys are all asking for my Christina to Gretchen makeup. I'm totally going to do that. I wish I had my Gretchen makeup so I could do it now, but I'll do it when I get back to the theater. Um, okay, so that's like good enough. Yay. So let's do my brows. I also have no order that I do this stuff in. So, um, my brows, when I was younger, funny story, um, my eyebrows were like two humongous caterpillars on my face. I would get made fun of at school a lot. So I remember my mom, I was like, mom, I gotta, I gotta pluck these babies off. And she was like, never. Um, but she finally was like, you can wax the top part and then that's it. And then I got really mad and plucked most of them off. So it was just these like thin, if anyone knew me in high school, these thin, thin eyebrows. Um, they're going back. Like they try. Look, they're like trying to come back. You know what I mean? But um, I work on them so hard to make them as awesome as they used to be when I was in eighth grade. So this is a MAC like stick. I don't know. It's like a stud. It's the color stud by MAC. This is also what I use for Gretchen. I need to get closer to the mirror. Maybe this is a better option. Oh <gasps> Yes. Just sort of, I don't need it to be too severe. Again, I've never been so into like wearing a lot of makeup. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with wearing a lot of makeup. I just sort of, maybe it's from what I do. I just like, when I don't have to wear makeup, I'm like, yes. Anyway, that's good. Yay. Eyebrows. Dern. Then sometimes I wear this brow gel. So I'm going to go like that. And uh, just whatever. I think you're supposed to like go up, right? Normally, like my day-to-day -day makeup, I don't wear the foundation and I just wear concealer and then I wear this, which is Pure Minerals 4-in-1 um, Pressed Mineral Makeup. It's really light and it's easy and then I don't feel like I'm wearing too much makeup. So I'm going to put that everywhere. I probably should have done that before my eyebrows. <gasps> what did I do? Um, but I forgot because, you know, I do it my own way. We should all do it our own way. Um, so I'm just going to do that so that I'm not so shiny. But yeah, usually I just wear this by itself and it's like totally enough. A little on my neck. Yay. Done. Okay, next I'm going to use this Anastasia Beverly Hills thing because these are all sparkly and pretty. Recently getting into putting sparkles. I'm going to do this because it's easier. Like right here because like that's fun, right? Is that like a highlighter? So I do that sparkly i'm doing like chill today like i don't want to do eyeshadow and you do not want to watch me try to do my own eyeshadow or maybe you do because it's really embarrassing and hilarious and dare i say horrendous um actually it is horrendous then i'm gonna do my eyeliner um so let's do my eyeliner I love that you guys wanted to see how I get ready because I literally get ready like a hot mess. So, um, ask my husband. I also usually do my makeup in like three minutes because I'm not interested in spending any more time than that on it. So that's sort of like how I roll. Yay. Look, I did one eye. Then I go for this like weird brush that I have no idea where I got or when, who it was from or how old it is or where it is. I like blend. This is like my own creation because this line to me is super severe. So then I take this like slanty brush and I make it so that it's less intense. I'm a patient person, but when it comes to like, like getting ready is always like a, oh my God, how can I do this faster so that I can move on with my life? Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes with an eyelash curler from like 1997. Haven't gotten a new one. It barely has like any spring in it. So I have to hold it for like a billion hours because it's so old. So I'm just going to keep holding it. This looks insane. You guys, I'm insane. Is this YouTube channel even fun? All right. Those are like sort of curled. And then I'm going to use this, which again, Estee Lauder. That's my go-to mascara. And I'm going to load it on. Well, that's good. Enough for me. I'll put a little, a little down here. That's pretty solid for me. Next up. 
some blush. This thing that I got that I'm obsessed with. So I'm going to smile because I think that's how you do it and put it on this part and on my nose. Is that enough? Sure. And highlight up here. I think that's what I should do, right? So this is pretty much what I do. I need chapstick. Bad. Usually I just wear chapstick. Oh, what is that? like I was branded. Now I'm gonna go to my hair. My hair, first of all, is so freaking long. Look at this. Like you can't even get the full scope of it. I'm talking like belly button. How I curl is I go like end sticking out. I try like pulling the end. Some of my sister taught me that, thanks Juliana. Release it and then like at the end, pull it instead of open it. And then it gives me that like straight thing. You can't really see there. I don't know how you all have been, but I have found that getting ready and feeling like I'm going to put some makeup on. I'm going to feel beautiful. And I feel beautiful with just moisturizer and no makeup on and my hair up in a ponytail. But I also like to feel like I'm getting ready for something has been really helpful. Um, even if it's getting ready to go on a date with my husband in the living room. Some days it feels fine to be in Lululemon's doing that. But then also like some, I found that it's kind of nice to feel like I'm getting ready for something even if it's something just at home for right now. To feel activated in that way has been super helpful. So um, this YouTube channel has been helpful with that. I get ready for you all um, and myself. I'm gonna, I'll keep talking to you guys. If this is boring, you can turn it off. I'm just gonna curl my hair. That's basically what the rest of this video is gonna be. The quarantine's been interesting. It's been good to like, I have found that taking walks has been really helpful for me. I gotta get outside, you know? I live, again, like I said, I live in New York. So I, ooh, I can see the sky behind that building. Um, I don't see a lot of sky and I don't get a lot of sun in here, um, which is just a, just how it goes um, with living in New York. I face a brick wall and I'm um, over the garbage. So, <laughs> you know, I try to stay out of the stores except for grocery shopping. I don't want to spread my germs to anybody. I've been doing that, a lot of like FaceTime dates with people. I'm gonna try to play some music, but honestly, like I don't write my own music. I wish I did. I play piano, I play guitar, not like that well. But maybe that's a good thing for me to do this at this time, is to get better. Bob and I were thinking about doing a couple different things. I don't know if you guys are thinking this is a good idea. I think it's a great idea. We're thinking about doing readings of two-person plays. We're sort of, I think I might open it up on my page, many writers are watching, that are interested in having actors read their plays out loud, especially to people, or even scenes, you know? I don't know who's been in scene study or whose classes got cut short, but if you want two professional actors to read through your scenes and post them on the internet, um, submit them to me and we'll pick a couple. If no one's interested in doing that, then that's all right too. So when I get to the top, when she got to this side, which is where my part is, she would do the curl and then flip it um, to give it, to let it like have body. I don't know, again, not a hair, not a professional hair person. Curls are done. And that's really what I do. Brush through them so that they look more natural. Really it. Now I'm ready, but. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope this was interesting, fun. If it was boring, that's fine. Anyway, hope you like this video. Like, subscribe, share. Um, keep creating, keep loving yourself, keep loving each other. Um, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.